Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu back with another one, y'all. We just got done talking about step one, four streams of income, which is about how you can take four streams of income and use them for capital for your business, investments for your personal savings, and also just money to uh, pay off personal expenses. So today, today's episode, we're gonna piggyback off of that and talk about paying off debt. So I'm gonna grab Hybrid Manual, which you can get this book for free on my website, shoelovesrebels.com, or you can go buy a hard copy from our e-commerce store, HBSX Pop-Up Shop, and get a hard copy directly from us. Let's get into it, paying off debt, small debt and large debt. No, that's, that's number one, small debt and large debt. So what that means is you have uh, small debts that might be like, you know, $20, $30, maybe a couple hundred dollars. And then you have large debts, which is like between a thousand and up. What I always advise people to do when it comes to paying off uh, debts is to pay the biggest debt off and then work your way down. Two, increase credit and create diverse credit portfolio. As you pay down your credit, you're able to build a credit portfolio that's diverse and that's having different types of credit. Number three, high interest savings account. Now this is uh, one of those things that is kind of like up to you if you want. You will save your money and then every month the, the money saved in the account collects a certain amount of uh, interest. So normally with most, most average banks, uh, the interest on the account might be like under 1% or at 1%. So you want to look for a high uh, high interest yielding savings account, which could be upwards of 3%. And just so you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling y'all things that I did in my life and I listed them out and maybe they might can help you. Decluttering and doing yard sales, garage sales. It might not be a gem to you, but it might be to someone else. So can't go wrong there, okay? The last thing, save a year of personal and business expenses. So if you have uh, personal expenses, you would tally tally them up at uh, the end of the month and then you'll know how much that is. That would be what's known as an emergency fund to me. So having an emergency fund also keeps you from getting into issues where you can't pay your credit card or you can't pay any of your loans and then your account goes delinquent and then that just takes a chunk out of what you were working so hard on trying to repair. So credit is a basically another form of money that you want to take advantage of because once you get a high enough credit score, people will literally just throw money at you and then you can use that money to turn into capital. And I will also recommend saving six months to a year of business expenses. So that's pretty much it for today's episode, y'all. If you like this episode and think it can help someone, click the like button that looks like this and share this video with somebody you think it can help. Leave a comment, let me know how I can make these videos better and what other topics you'd like to see me talk about on this channel later on down the road. And please subscribe. If you're new to the channel and you got through this part of the video, please press that subscribe button and show some support. And I'll show my support to you in any way possible by y'all recommending content and anything of the sorts. Until next time, it's Laura Shu. Holla!